Chicago police have arrested another suspect in connection with a fatal shootout that killed a grandmother in Bronzeville earlier this month. 47-year-old Elbert Duncan now charged with aggravated battery and discharging a firearm. Police say he shot security guard Victor Brown during a confrontation outside a liquor store on February 1st. Prosecutors say Brown grabbed another security guard's gun and fired 20 shots down a busy street. And one of those bullets traveled four blocks and struck Bobby Johnson in the chest, killing the 55-year-old. Brown is charged now with first-degree murder. Today marks the third anniversary of the deadly shooting at the Henry Pratt Company. That's when a disgruntled employee opened fire on his co-workers, killing five of them. WJN's Mike Lowe is live in Aurora tonight with the story. Mike. Ray and Micah, good evening to both of you. Today, elected officials, religious leaders, and first responders all gathered here at the Aurora Historical Society to pay tribute to those victims on this somber anniversary. In February of 2019, in the immediate aftermath of the Henry Pratt shooting, the Aurora community gathered around these white crosses. That stood outside the Pratt factory for six weeks. Three years later, on the anniversary of the killings. Let us have a moment of silence for the lives tragically taken from us that day. They once again were drawn to those same white crosses, now on display at the Aurora Historical Society. They are forever written in the pages of Aurora's history. The history of that day was written. The uh, shooters inside, we don't know where he's at. On the front pages, gunman kills five at a warehouse west of Chicago. Shooter dead, leaving a broken heartland. On this day, February 15th, 2019, Aurora was forever changed. Today, the city remembered and honored the shooting victims, Trevor Wayner, Clayton Parks, Russell Beyer, Vicente Juarez, and Josh Pinkard. We say their names again to keep their memory alive in the hearts and citizens of Aurora. They were all killed when a disgruntled employee who was being terminated pulled a gun and opened fire inside of the plant and forced police into a lengthy search and ultimately a shootout. Officers eventually shot and killed the gunman. I still struggle to make sense of what happened that day and I suspect that I always will. Never have I been more proud of these women and men. Thank you to everyone who put the needs of our citizens above the needs of their own. And the crosses became symbols of Aurora's heartache and its hope, along with the city's adopted slogan, Aurora Strong. For the past 1,095 days, the Aurora Strong mantra and spirit has helped us take one of the darkest days in history of Aurora and find the ability to pull the light out of the darkness. And those crosses representing the five victims will be on display here at the Aurora Historical Society through March 15th. Reporting in Aurora, Mike Lowe, WGN News. Thank you, Mike. An update now, families of victims.